What's going on, everybody? Working the better and Bassin. Forget my boy Peanut over there. He's throwing up a fuss, you know, wanting to be where I am at all the time. But today we're going to talk about how to fish the fluke. How to fish the fluke. And for you that out there that don't know, because I come to find out that there's people who don't really know what a fluke is. A fluke, let me pick, take this off for you. This is a fluke. This is a fluke. Now, um, to start out, I would like to tell you, there's only two colors that I use. The white that you just seen, and I also like to use bubblegum color. Now, before I know I'm going to fish a fluke, there is one thing that I like to do. And I don't see it in here right now, but in these packages, the fluke tail, let me put that down for you. In these packages, the fluke tail, well, you can see it right here. You see how it's bent right here? Go and get you some water, heat it up, kind of boil it, you know, and dip your tail in there no more than five to 10 seconds to get that bend out, to get it straight. Um, this actually got that bend in it because where it's been sitting up for a good little bit. So, now, there are two ways to rig it. You can actually rig it, like I said, Texas rig, where you have that little flap in here that opens up for you to do that. The second thing, you can actually reverse it and you can hook it on the back, but still Texas rig. It gives it a little bit of a different action. Now, with that being said, there is a few ways that you can fish this thing. Oh, and not to let me forget, uh, there are different colors out there. Um, again, I most of the time use either white or the bubblegum flavor, depending on the skies and the water, color, uh, water clarity. Um, really, the more clear the water, I tend to go more with the white, and the more dirtier, I go with the bubblegum flavor. So, there are people who use the uh, green pumpkin, and I, I feel like with that, that is actually more of an ultra clear color that you can know, for ultra clear water. So, with that being said, let's get into how to fish it. Matter of fact, before we do that, let's, let's talk about when to fish it. Me personally, I like to fish the fluke when, it's, when the fishing is actually pretty daggum tough. You know, I done threw top water. You know, I done threw crankbait, swim bait, so and so on. And I've dragged, a, I've, I've dragged a soft plastic on the bottom. Either soft plastic jig, however you want to put it. And I'm just not getting the bites. So, I actually turned to the fluke because it's a good reaction bait. It's a good reaction. You get a good bit of a reaction strikes from it. Now, I have caught some monsters with it but it is not as often as you would say like a jig or something like that where you would catch a good size. Now, on to fishing the jig. So, there's a couple of ways to fish it. Cast it out. Right? Now, the one thing that I'm gonna show you with this one is, is when you cast it out, let it drop. Let it sink all the way to the bottom. Dead stick it. You can dead stick, dead stick it for ever in a day. Dead stick it. Now, to begin your retrieve, what you want to do is it's pretty much like uh, a jerk bait, a hard jerk bait. It's pretty much like that. You know what I'm saying? There's a cadence. And now, in the colder, the weather get because you actually can use this in the winter you actually can um but your twitches would be a little bit different and i would actually go weightless the the fall will actually be a little bit slower the movement is a little bit slower in the water it works but considering the fact that we're in the summertime you want to kind of go a little bit of aggressive so it's cast it out there. I've let it sit. It's on the bottom. So twitch, 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 
twitch, twitch, twitch, twitch, twitch. Anywhere between three, two, one, any variation of that with the twitch. I actually got hit, but I wasn't prepared to set the hook because I'm doing the video. <laughs> but uh, that's the first variation. Now, the second variation of uh, casting out a, a fluke. Again, you can throw it out there. And instead of letting it sink, you can skip it across the top of the water. Sometimes the fish love to hit it like that. The minute it hit the water, start twitching it, skipping across the top of the water. The next one is pretty much like the first one. Mosquitoes are getting to me. Pretty much like the first one, except you count it down the water collar. You know, this thing probably falls about the rate of a foot a second. You know, it got a decent little weight to it. Rigging it up, Texas rig because there you're gonna have to set the hook pretty hard on this bait. You're gonna have to set the hook pretty hard on this bait. Now, this open flap here, this is pretty much where you, yes, you hide your hook, that open flap. Now, if you look in the back, I got it text posed where the hook is actually, let me get that right for you. The hook is actually somewhat kind of skin hooked in the back. Um, if you hook it where the hook is hidden, you know, it sometimes you won't get uh, that much of a good hookup. It is what it is. You got to really set the hook. Now, some people think with the jerking, uh, not the jerking, but the twitching of the rod, it takes a lot. It don't. All you really doing, this is about all you need. That's about all you need, right there. As far as the twitching of your rod. Right. That is the simplest way that I can... Modifications, I'm so sorry about that, modifications. Now, you can, I don't do it. I don't do it because I like the, uh, the fall, especially when the bait is, is Texas rig right. I like the fall of the bait. Now, some people actually take a nail weight and they put it in the head of the uh, other fluke. They, they, they like to do that, and it gives it an action where you, when you jerk it, it kind of bounces up. I like the dart to the side. It, you know, it, it, it mimics, like I say, it mimics a fish fleeing, which, you know, bass can't stand that, and they just gotta go get it. You know, it is what it is. I know this is a short video. There's really much, not much to fishing the fluke. It is what it is. It's, it's a very, it's a very, it's a good bait to, to use, especially when used correctly. You can get a lot of fish in a boat. Don't forget to subscribe, like the channel, and hit that notification bell. And follow me actually on Facebook. I started a new page on that, Instagram and Twitter. Better and Bastion, we love you out there. One.